Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of our engineering video series on custom actions in vFlash. My name is Judith Ziedler and I'm from the vFlash development team. In this short video I want to show you how you can go through your custom action implementation step by step while it is executed in vFlash. This gives you the opportunity to analyze your code in detail in a specific situation. You could use this tool, for example, to check the value of each variable during the runtime. It is a really good tool to understand what is really going on in your custom action implementation. So let's have a look on a specific vFlash project for more details. You see here a already pre-configured vFlash project that has a post custom action defined. You can also see that there are some custom action attributes, like the software version. The intention of this post-custom action is it to write some data to the ECU after the flashing. So let me just execute the flash button and we can see that the post-custom action is started. If we go to the trace window, we also see that there is some post-custom action going on. However, we cannot identify any write services sent to the ECU as expected. We only see some read services, namely the 22s. So this is a typical situation where we want to have some deeper insight into the execution of the custom action. Let me show you how this works by opening the source code behind this custom action. To step through the source code step by step during the execution, you must do three things. The first thing is you must make sure that you're running in debug mode. This can be done at this drop down menu. This means you must compile the source code in debug mode and be sure that you use the debug DLL in your vFlash project. The second thing you have to do is you must attach the source code to the vFlash project. This is done by selecting debug and attach to process. Just search for the vFlash process and attach to it. You can see that attaching was successful if the running keyword is shown in the headline. And the third thing you have to do is you must define a breakpoint. This is the point where the execution shall be stopped. So let me see where I will put the breakpoint here. Here are the write services that are not executed. So let me put the breakpoint at line 67. If we go back to vFlash and execute the flash button, you can see that the custom action is executed and it is stopped at line 67 where we have defined a breakpoint. In this mode, you can use all the debug features that come with the Visual Studio. So you could use the step over and step into commands. And you can see the values of the variables in the locals window. So let's step over line 67. And we can see that the if condition is not fulfilled. And this is the reason why the write services are not executed. If we have a closer look to the values of the variables, we can see that the flash status is success as expected but the variable C, a file path is null. This is the value of the coding string file in the vFlash GUI. This means it is not defined and therefore the write services are not executed. So let's go back to vFlash and configure a coding string file path and execute again the flashing. Again, we hit the breakpoint and now the CA file path has some value and we step into the if condition. All the right services are executed now. We can also see this in the trace window. I hope I could show you how easy it is to run through your custom action implementation during the runtime. If you have enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos on our Vector YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.